Ethiopia might soon allow non-financial institutions to operate mobile money services under a new law being drafted by the National Bank of Ethiopia. Currently, electronic payments and money transfer services are only reserved for banks and micro-financial institutions. Ethiopia's central bank says its target is to reach the over 70% of people who remain unbanked in the country. Yes, GTN's Koleta Wanjohi. United Bank, one of Ethiopia's commercial banks, has been operating a mobile money service for the past 11 years. It used to be called SMS banking. Using the, the SMS code, people were able to do fund transfer, balance inquiry, and so on. But the last five or six years, uh, we migrate uh, to mobile app and uh, USSD based applications. And uh, currently, we have uh, quite a large number of uh, customers who are using uh, mobile banking uh, systems. In the last five years, the bank says the system has evolved to allow people to purchase airline tickets and reload phone airtime. But now, the government wants these services and more to be offered by non-financial institutions. Under the proposals, the National Bank of Ethiopia will require interested companies to have a minimum capital of over $1.5 million. Financial technology expert Polycap Osero says it will lead Ethiopia towards a digital economy. It will enable the businesses to thrive in terms of availability of funding, in terms of ease of doing business. At the same time, it will also help in financial inclusion and financial access because there are some people like in some countries who don't even have bank accounts. They only have the mobile wallets. In neighboring Kenya, mobile money services are led by telecommunication companies. Ethiopia's Ethio Telecom, the country's only telecommunication company, has expressed interest in engaging in mobile money services too. It hopes to tap into its over 40 million subscribers. But Ethiopia's central bank's draft law opens up the service to even non-telecom companies. Registered business companies wholly owned by Ethiopians and non-nationals with Ethiopian origin will be allowed to apply for licenses from the central bank to offer the service. Commercial banks say they will still remain relevant. I do believe that, in fact, it, it increases the bankable customers uh, because at the end of the day, the wallet account is the maximum that you can do is for low transactions, holding amount is very minimal and the like. So at the end of the day, the customers will tend to move their funds to the bank accounts where they can be interest on that too. The government says it will take time to convince some consumers to move to a cashless system, but it hopes to be serving up a digital economy to as many customers as possible soon. Koletanjo, Hisegitien, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.